Hi there! Welcome to the CBT Nuggets Micro Nugget entitled Scratch Programming Using Lists. My name is Tim Warner. I hope that you watched my CBT Nuggets training series on Scratch. If you didn't, I'll give you the Cliff Notes version. A variable is used in Scratch the same way that a variable is used in any programming language, to temporarily store data for some use within your app. There are two types of variables supported in Scratch. One are just straight up variables. And when you create a variable, you get a stage monitor that you can turn on and turn off, as well as set, change, show, and hide events that focus on that variable. We can delete the variable by clicking delete a variable and then selecting from the list. The other type of variable is called a list. Let's make a list here called colors. And I will make this list, this special type of variable, attached to all sprites in my project. Now what happens when we create a list? We get a stage monitor that looks different from the variable. We also get a bunch of custom color-coded blocks. The main difference between a variable and a list is that a list is an object, a temporary storage location, for more than one piece of data. If you've used other programming languages, you know a list is called an array, formally speaking. We can add to a list in a couple different ways, directly on the stage monitor if we're showing it. We can click the little plus sign and start to add data in the little text box. And you can keep going. There's no limit to how many you add there. We can also add programming logic here, such that let's bring out from the control area when the flag is clicked, we will add a new item to colors. Now you can do this statically, which I'll do right now. I'll add, I don't think I have a green, or you can do it dynamically. Let's run the project. Boom, we get a new object in. I had, hadn't put in a color yet in five, but I had reserved a space for five. So I'll add a color there. And see, each time I press enter, it does the same thing. Whoops. There we go. You can use delete to dynamically remove items from a list. If you want to remove everything you can, just the last, or you can put in a specific index number. Just like we have in arrays in formal programming language, you have not only the data that comprises that list or array, but also a unique index identifier. That's the unique identifier. Let's call it a primary key for you database nerds out there. And if I say delete one of colors, then we should expect that blue will drop off the list. I'm actually going to get rid of this add. We don't need it yet. We're just going to do a delete. Watch the list now. Boom. Goes away and now red becomes index one. So along those lines you can insert new items at specific index positions. You can replace items in the list with new ones. Let's try that. I'm going to replace, let's say, the second index item of the colors list with fuchsia. I think I spelled that correctly. Let's bring this up to the green flag event and run and watch item two, which is currently orange. Now it's fuchsia, you see? So therefore, lists can do some really excellent heavy lifting in your Scratch programs because under a single named object, you can store lots of different items. And it doesn't matter whether those items are numeric, text, the typing in Scratch is extremely flexible. In fact, I'll demonstrate that by putting in an expression. I'll say add 10 times 5 to colors. And let's run the script, and we have 50. So there's not any worrying about data type incompatibilities with lists in Scratch. That's one reason among many why Scratch is an ideal beginning programming environment, because it's so darn flexible and so darn user-friendly. Final thing I'll leave you with here is that you can add this Boolean block, color contains, to do logic. So for instance, we could come over to control and set up conditions such that if the colors list contains a particular item, like red, let's say, then we can do some action. We can maybe move the scratch cat 100 steps. Let's try that just for grins. I'll start the scratch cat over here. And of course, this expression is going to evaluate to true, isn't it? Because red does exist in our colors list. But let's click the green flag and the scratch cat moved. Now, let me add an item that does not live in this list, let's say 75. So if we click the green flag, the scratch cat doesn't move, you see? Pretty cool stuff. I hope that this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.